In this video, we are going to um, have a look at um, uh, classes. So this is a class here, has a capital M, and it has in front of it a method. So when a method is called on a class, it's referred to as a class method. So we have here all is called on moderator, and we have find is a class method. But over here, we have um, a find, and we save that on the moderator, and then we have update called on that moderator. So that's not a class, so that's called an instance method. So let's um, explore how this works. In your Rails blog, uh, cd out, and we're going to cd into our Ruby project folder. We'll make a directory called appliances and cd into that. And let's um, make another directory and we'll call this library um, or lib and then the touch and then go into our library and create um, a file which we are going to call microwave and I will explain this um, in a second. So let's create a main.rb on appliances and then sublime and open this. So essentially what we have is a main and within main within library we have a um, microwave. So double click to open these two up. Um, in our main library we're going to require our microwave um, file so we can use it. So we're going to just create our own classes and see how to create instance and class methods. So in microwave.rb, I'm going to create a class. So this is what a class looks like. A class have special method called initialize. So initialize is called for us automatically, um, which I'll show you shortly. So we're going to say our initialize accepts three uh, named parameters. So door, a timer, and power. So every time we create a new microwave, we have to give it this three. And we will save the values that are given into um, at symbols. So these are instance variables. So we'll save this in there. So when we save things into instance variable, we can use them elsewhere uh, within the app. Um, so I'll show that in a minute. So our microwave, we want to know when, uh, if the door is closed. So we have a method for that. We need to know if the timer is on, and we also need to know if the if the power is on. So these are the three things for now that we want to be able to know from our microwave. So now this is um, this is where uh, named parameters, um, class instance variables, sorry, come in. So we can now say door. How do we know door is closed? So if door is double equal sign, is equal to closed. So we're just checking the value of door. If the value is equals to uh, a symbol closed, then it's closed. And do the same with timer. So we we'll do the same with a power on. So this is what instance variable is like. We we'll set it and initialize, or we use it elsewhere. So this statement will return true or false. Okay. So it's very simple. Um, program. So if we go into our main.rb, we can say something like this. I'm going to create data. So assuming we have um, data that has some values in it. So door um, is closed, for example, and we we'll set timer to be on and we we'll set power to be on. So this is data that we can try within our program. So let's copy this and paste a few times. And I'm going to make the uh, variables to be different. So these are variables. In this case, it hasn't got at sign, so it's not instance variable. It's just variable. So we change some values around. In this case, uh, timer is off. Uh, in this case, uh, power power is off. So the idea is to try this out within our microwave. See when the microwave microwave can start and when the microwave can't start. So now we have this concept of instance. So this is how we create a new instance. We say microwave capital M dot new, and then we pass in the data into it. So this is the data that is stored within data one, which we are passing into our microwave. So what we say, we create a new instance of microwave. So I'm going to do a few instances. So just copy and paste a few times. So change these instances so they're all unique. And each instance, I want to put a new different data set. So now we have five different instances of our microwave class. Okay, so 
we're going to uh, run this. So we say take one instance, uh, we'll paste it here. And this is called instance method because we can copy any of the instance methods and paste it um, after the uh, dot notation. Now if we go into our appliances and say Ruby dot uh, rb main dot rb it doesn't print anything out because we haven't explicitly said um, p for print so do this now and we can see it says true so it's evaluated that door is closed for data one which is true so let's try this for other um, instances so now an instance is just when we say microwave dot new that gives us an instance so um, let's try and run this so it's true, false, true, true, true. So in each case, it remembers the state and it tells you what the result is based on the data you pass in. So that's what instance variable does and that's what instance method does. So instance variable um, remembers its state. Instance method allow you to run a method on the instance as we have done here. So each of these are instance methods. So I'm going to create another instance method here which would do something a bit more so i'm going to check that if the if the door is closed right and the timer is on and the power is on then we want to uh, want to print something on the screen so i'm going to add an if in front and optionally put a uh, bracket open and close here just to define things and then if this is true yeah so we want to say microwave is starting so if door closed and timer is on and power is on print uh, microwave is starting else we want to say microwave could not start so it's a very simple method and again it's making use of the instance variables but I'm calling the methods inside um, so I'm going to go ahead and change all this and delete and this is start right so let's clear this up and try to run it again now it says macro is starting could not start could not start macro is starting and could not start so it works so, we, so in each case it's checking the instance variables and it's seeing what we've given it and it's making decision based on that Okay, so um, each method is called on an instance. That's why it's called an instance method. Unlike new, which is called a microwave, which is a class method, which we did not define ourselves. So um, let's see if we can make our own class method. So a class method is written slightly differently. So we say define self dot and then create. So the new thing here is self dot. So this gives us something different. Let's see what this does. If we say uh, return, I am a class method. Okay, so if we're going to main, I'm going to uh, copy all this together. Okay, comment it out and then say print microwave dot create. So there's no instance created in this case. So that there we say I am a class method. So this is different. So I've just called create directly on microwave. That's what this self does. If we get rid of self and we run, it says method create um, undefined for microwave class. So that's the main difference between um, uh, create and instance, between class methods and instance methods. So we could do something a bit more funky. We can copy um, microwave.new data one and we could go into self.create and paste it in here so we are using um, a class method to create a new instance so i'm going to say uh, create requires this named um, argument and down here i'll take the values that we give into our argument and put them in here um, so in this case, we we'll say microwave door takes door, not timer should take timer, door timer and power uh, will just take power. So this method will return a new instance. 
okay so if we say microwave I will change all the new methods to create it simply gives us a new instance and I can uh, get rid of this uh, select all this command forward slash or control forward slash and then now on comment uh, clear this and run and it, everything works so now we have something a bit fancy we are using create to create a new instance and this here is instance method being called so that's the main difference we have initialize method which is a special method that's called which puts all our instance variables in there so now here we can understand and appreciate what's going on here so this is a class method which is self dot find at some some place in rails um that's that's it for for this for this lesson um definitely come back and do it again or revise or re um, rewatch it one more time um in the next next lesson we'll have a look at this this is inheritance we will see how we can make our run and um what they're about so that's it for this lesson i'll see you in the the next lesson